the spleen, an organ of the body that is part of the lymphatic system. The spleen makes lymphocytes, filters the blood, stores blood cells, and destroys old blood cells. Makes white blood cells that protect you from infection. It is located on the left side of the abdomen near the stomach. Your spleen is a small but hard-working organ hidden behind your stomach and under your diaphragm. Old, damaged, or abnormal red blood cells are caught in a maze of narrow tunnels within the spleen. Healthy red blood cells easily pass through the spleen and continue to circulate in your bloodstream. A normal, healthy spleen is up to 12 centimeters long and 70 grams in weight. An enlarged spleen may be up to 20 centimeters long and can weigh more than 1,000 grams. Several things can cause your spleen to enlarge, including inflammation, fat storage, pooled blood, benign or malignant growths, and overproduction of cells. Unlike most other organs in your body, your spleen changes in size throughout your life, usually in response to illness or injury. A viral infection, such as mononucleosis, or a bacterial infection, such as syphilis, are among the conditions that can lead to an enlarged spleen. The size of a normal, healthy spleen can vary considerably from person to person. Your gender and height can also affect its size. Women tend to have smaller spleens than men, and taller people tend to have larger spleens than shorter people. Researchers suggested that aside from men generally being taller than women, men also typically have greater red cell mass than women. Ultrasound is a very useful means of non-invasively examining the spleen. Imaging is generally achieved via an intercostal approach, using grayscale ultrasound, supplemented by color flow to assess vasculature. Normal spleen appears uniform with vessels radiating and converging at the hilum. Because the spleen can be involved in a variety of different conditions, including those that may have nonspecific clinical signs, assessment of the spleen should be included in every routine abdominal ultrasonographic examination. Specific conditions which would indicate a need for splenic ultrasonography include palpable abdominal mass, palpable splenomegaly, trauma, hemobdomen, abdominal discomfort, tumor staging. The normal spleen shows a uniform texture, similar to or slightly more hyperechoic than the liver or renal parenchyma. It has a crescent shape with a smooth outer convexity and a nodulous inner margin. The spleen is homogeneously echoic with a fine echo texture. As earlier mentioned, the echogenicity of the spleen can be compared to the neighboring liver parenchyma and the cortex of the left kidney. In many patients it is hyperechoic to both. Normal anatomy. The spleen is an elongated organ, which is situated in the left cranial abdomen, adjacent to the left body wall. It can be subdivided into three sections. The head, the most dorsal section, the body, midsection, and the tail, the most ventral section. The head is located in a dorsal position, between the gastric fundus and the cranial pole of the left kidney, occupying a space under the 9th to 13th intercostal spaces and often folding medially on itself. Due to the short gastric vessels and the gastrosplenic ligament, both of which fix the head of the spleen to the greater curvature of the stomach, the position of the head will be influenced by gastric distension. The body continues in a ventrocaudal direction, passing below the mid-costal arch close to the left body wall. From this position the orientation and position of the tail is quite variable, sometimes extending to the urinary bladder on the left side, at other times the tail of the spleen may continue ventrally, curving over to the right ventral body wall. The arterial blood supply of the spleen comes from the splenic artery, a branch of coeliac artery. The venous blood leaves the spleen via the splenic vein, which joins the portal vein. Great job as to ultrasound made easy. We are moving forward. Keep connected. But please observe.